All right, guys, how's everybody doing? John from our hodgepodge homestead here. Um, okay, so I'm down in the pantry, and uh, summertime kind of came and went, and uh, it didn't do a whole lot this summer. Um, the pantry down here, you know, I've always, always tried to... Uh, you know that old saying goes, everything's got a place and everything's in its place? Well, that got away from me this summer. Um, I don't know why that always seems to happen. But anyway, I'm in the pantry. I'm doing some rearranging, some organizing. Uh, the pantry chats are going to come back. I'm going to try to put them out for Sunday mornings. Um, so we're going to get back on track with that. And... Um, yeah, so let's uh, get this thing organized a little bit back here, huh? So what I really want to do is, let me take you back here so everything isn't quite so little. Yeah, there we go. So when I first came down here uh, today, I really noticed that uh, I had a bunch of stuff just being put right here. So really organized a lot of our our soaps our dental items floss dental picks uh, toothpaste toothbrushes got all that here I've got our bar soaps in place and then some you know Heather really likes her her lotion there uh, the next thing I really want to focus on are a lot of the, the cooking utensils that I have down here and I guess you really can't see that right now but um, Let's tip you down just a little bit more. Am I gonna be in here? Yeah, I'm here, okay. This down here, um, that's the next thing I really wanna focus on. Um, my son moved in with us this summer and um, I hadn't seen him for a long time for you know family reasons. But he worked for a company called Perigo near Grand Rapids, Michigan, and they've got a great program there for employees where they can buy lots of different types of medicines and things like that for pennies on a dollar. So he, um, he really hooked us up with things. So like this, this whole shelving unit here, four shelves full of nothing but really good, you know, medicines, ibuprofen, uh, just naproxen, sodium, nasal spray, aspirin, um, acid reliever, Prevacid, children's pain reliever, uh, cold and flu liquid. So all just an array of things that uh, really helped out our our uh, pharmacy here. <laughs> so um, anyway, but I don't really want to go through a, a pantry tour right now, um, but I will show you something pretty cool. That right there is an addition this year. Yeah, I had that shelf sitting out in the garage and I decided to put it to good use with all our squash that we got this year. Um, as far as garden went, we really didn't, uh, we didn't put up a lot of tomatoes because I already have so many canned tomatoes. Um, we, we grew them basically just to eat. Uh, we grew Amish paste tomatoes to try to make some of our own spaghetti sauce and they, I think we got them in the ground too late. Um, they produced, but they didn't produce enough to make the effort worth um, worth canning them and everything. So, but another thing I've got to do in here is I've got to get my I've got to get my door up to date and things like that. Um, all the the family dinners and things we had over the summer really put an impact on my canned corn. So I got to build that back up. I think I've got what do we got? Uh, Got 12 cans there of regular, and well, I've got 20, 22 cans of cream corn. You know, potatoes are still good. I canned a bunch of potatoes this year. I canned uh, 50 pounds of potatoes this year to add to our stock. I'm still waiting on carrots, but I'll can a bunch of carrots because we like to have like usually it's two quarts of each when we do a chicken. So. Yeah, I added I added some spices this year. I'm I'm still haven't redone my spice shelves, but I'm gonna do that. I'm uh, had some uh, some knee issues this summer, and actually I'm 
going to the doctor on the 28th to, I believe I'm going to get an injection shot. Um, I, I would really just as soon have a whole knee replacement while I'm healthy and everything, but he wants to wait till I'm, I guess, uh, I'm 58. So I guess he wants to wait till I'm 60 or 61. He said three years, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes, but that's, uh, kind of, kind of hold me up a little bit and dampen my, uh, my abilities to move around, but we're going, we're rolling. So yeah, so I'm going to work on this shelf here and I'm going to move all those vinegars back into that corner. So that'll open up this whole shelf here. And, um, yeah, so that's where we're going to go. I did, uh, harvest quite a bit of oregano this year. That's all, uh, dehydrated oregano. Um, this week I'm going to be dehydrating, well, I'm going to be picking rosemary and sage and lemon balm. I'm going to try to get my mint harvested so I can have, uh, good mint teas this winter. So, yeah, and, uh, we've been doing pretty good on getting our jar lids. Uh, the wide mouth have been a little tough to come across, but, um, we actually found three when we were down in Virginia last week, picked them up, um, but yeah, the small mouths or regular mouth are pretty much always there. Well, not always, but when they are, we buy four at a time. I don't go in there and buy the whole box. You know, I don't need to buy the whole box. Now, let me tell you what. If I didn't have that store right there and there was a whole box, I'd buy them. That's just how it's got to be, you know, and that's how you got to treat it too because shelves are bare. Shelves are empty. Mustard. Just the other day, we were out of mustard. Uh, we were grocery shopping. They didn't have any mustard. They didn't even have cheap mustard. Why Why is mustard an issue? So we got four mustards now. You know, that's what you got to do. You got to get it when they see it. Get it when you see it and go from there. Okay, enough rambling. I'm kind of getting into something I don't want to get into right now. But uh, let me put you on hold. I'm going to do some picking up back here. And well, you know what? Maybe I'll just let it roll. Let it roll. We'll put you right there. Yeah, we'll get down in here and start uh, doing some work down here. Yep. So I know that it was super, super hot here in Michigan. How was it where all you guys live? It was so hot up here for me that I couldn't do much outside this summer. Um, you know, our garden did great once we once we didn't have to weed anymore, and you know the weeding was was a couple minutes every morning. And then once those plants kicked off in those raised beds, there was hardly any weeding at all. Which is really cool. That was really good. Uh, we really enjoyed gardening that way this year, not having to be inundated by weeds and overrun by them. All right, some of this stuff down here is uh, actually a lot of it down here is uh, like little emergency stove, a toaster thing. A lot of it's kind of for camping. Got lots of sterno packs here. So I don't really know how I'm going to redo all this, but like right in here, we've got, we've got sponges and, uh, on a, on a prep inside of the house, I don't know how many of you have electric can openers and don't have the old fashioned hand can openers. Well, let me tell you what, try using an electric can opener when you don't have power. And then go five or six days without it. All these canned goods you have, not a lot of good if you don't have one of these. They're a couple bucks at the store, or if you out antiquing or garage sailing, grab a couple of them, put them away. I think we've got, I got three in here. Well, four if you count this one. Got a couple of these, just, you know, puncture the hole type ones. Yeah, and sponges are always a good thing. These little containers right here, I think you can buy an eight pack for like five bucks or something like that at, at Wally World. 
they come in handy. I've got, what I got, six, 12 of them, plus all these. I've bought, bought a few packs of them. And here, this is just uh, basically stuff I took out of our our drawer in the kitchen so that we could open and close it without a battle every time. But there's, you know, these are great for bacon, and not for bacon, but for baking. So I got to reorganize that so I can get it all closed. There's a little flour sifter. And then uh, I've got some things for dicing up different types of vegetables. And to be honest with you, I'm probably going to uh, get rid of them because I uh, never used them. They're, you know, I just soon use a knife and cut up the veggies and go that way. But anyway, I guess this wasn't really as bad as I thought it was. I've got a couple um, stove stovetop pressure cookers down there, the little ones, you know. And uh, what's pretty cool is Every now and then you'll buy them and they'll actually come with the books. And these books are pretty cool. Yeah, this one says, Heather and John still looking for weights. So they were still looking for the weights for those. I think we got that from my sister-in-law's mom. Which I also got two of my large... Two? Yeah, two of my large pressure cookers from. And, um... Last year when I got them and COVID hit, I couldn't get any parts for them. Well, you know what? I've still not been able to get parts for them, like the, the pressure rings, the seals, and things like that. They're still, that's just something that's still really hard to come by. I don't know why, but it is. So I'm going to put all these back here so I know where they're at. And I'm going to move this over here. Takes up less space that way. Move this one up here. I'm good with that. Okay, these, this is all stuff that I don't get into very often. I just want it to be kind of, not put away so you can't see it, just, you know what I mean. I guess I don't even know what I mean, but just, it wasn't looking the way I wanted it to look earlier. Now it's looking a little better. And, uh, like I said, organization, getting back to it. I don't know if y'all know, but I keep all my jars in these pop containers. You can go to any one of your little local convenience stores. They've got them stacked up by their back doors. Just go in and ask them, hey, can I get a few of those? You know, normally they're, they'll just give them to you. I, that's what happened with me. I've got a bunch of them. And uh, I actually told one guy when, when we were moving, um, I needed them for all my jars. And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm moving you know, jars is what I'm doing with them. And he goes, okay. And I said, when I'm done with them, I'll bring them back. And he said, you know what? Don't even bring them back. So he uh, pretty much just let me have them. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, just cleaning this place up down here. Oh, these can go back, back in here. I should actually, I've got one of those, one of these little fold up stoves right here. This is super cool. You can use it with the, um, with the, uh, what are those things called? Um, the sternals. So these just kind of fold up in here like so. Flip her upside down. Put your sternal can right in there. You're heating coffee in two minutes. Yes, sir. I got these from my wife's grandma when she passed away. They were actually they were actually doing some pretty good uh, prepping. We got lots of uh, uh, just plain white candles for light. We got this. I got several of these. I believe I got all that sternal from them too. So they had a big tote and we went through it all and disseminated it out and about. I think my candles are down there. <coughs> Excuse me. Another cool thing I got, I think I mentioned it last year, was uh, we bought a label maker. And uh, that's come in real handy. You know, my wife kind of, Heather kind of laughed at me because I even, I even marked our label maker thing, label maker. But anyway, it's got this place right down here. So, um, yeah, one thing we grew this year was uh, chocolate jalapenos. So I dehydrated them right there. They're whole ones. But then uh, up here... 
chocolate jalapeno powder. Look at that. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty good. We did Santa Fe hot grande peppers. Powderized a bunch of that. I need to get some more um, oxygen absorbers and get them in here because they're starting to get a little bit, um, probably just from humidity and stuff like that. Yeah, so we got, um, these are leeks. We grew leeks this year, did really good. They didn't get real big, but they got nice and tall. So we did plenty of leeks, and I did a um, leek and potato soup. Whew, that stuff was really good. I'll have to do a, um, I'll have to do a video on that because it was super, super good. Yeah, so, okay. Um, I'm going to cut this short, and uh, when I'm all done, I'll show you guys the differences and things that we did down here. But anyway, all right, guys, we'll catch you all later. You know how we say here at HodgePodge, we like an organized pantry, and you should too. See you later.